One of the truest axioms of life that I know of is that if you live long enough, you will suffer. There is no amount of money you can make. There is no amount of insurance you can purchase. There is no amount of success you can obtain that will insulate you from the long arm of suffering reaching out and when you least expect it, smacking you in the face. The question remains, are you ready? Uh, we're listening to a story being told by an author who has a point he wants to make. He's not writing because he's bored. He's not writing because he wants to make himself famous. He's writing because he has a story and, and, and an account he wants to get across that has a point. He's going to walk us into the complex doctrine of providence. And he's not going to use a series of propositional truths to tell us about the nature and truth of God's providence, he's going to wrap it in the form of a story in the life of a boy named Joseph. You ever been in a place where you feel like, hey, this is the end of the road? I don't know how I'm going to go forward. Maybe it's because of sin done to you that brings you so low, you don't want to go forward. Or maybe it's because you've crossed the line of sin against somebody else, you know there's no going back. Even when you don't see the hand of God, it's there working. God's silence is not God's absence. Joseph rose to reign over all of Egypt as a good and wise ruler, we'll see in the story. And then he died. Jesus died and then rose, not just to reign over one nation, but to reign over the nations as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords.